Gracias. Oh, thank you. This smells insane. First time trying aguachile, and we got it on a tostada, which looks fire. Aguachile is raw shrimp cooked in lime juice with a bunch of chili peppers, so it's supposed to be super spicy, limey shrimp. Topped off with the avocado, and then there's some cucumber and some thinly sliced onions in it. And I'm just, oh, gracias. Yeah. Aquí? Oh, aquí. Aquí. Gracias. This right here is Camarones Diablas, which is like a spicy sauce shrimp, and it smells so fragrant. All right, let's dig into the tostada. Don't want it to get too soggy. Like I said, first time trying aguachile, and they load it up here. Super thick tostada, and you feel all the juice already submerged in there, and it still feels cr crispy. Cheers. Mmm. I thought it was gonna be super spicy, but it's not too spicy. The avocado added so much creaminess to that limey, spicy shrimp. Let's actually try some hot sauce on it, some chile. Let's see which one we should try. Salsa picante negra. Let's try this. I always like a good salsa negra. Dark salsa always hits. It's usually super fragrant and um, bold, which is what I like. Oh, look how thick that is. We're not gonna go too crazy. Let's try it like that first. Mmm, not spicy. You could feel the thick texture in your mouth. That's fire. Oh. So this taco right here is the taco governador. Little crispy, looks like there's some bell peppers and that cubed up camarones. Man, that first dish I had with the shrimp was amazing. So I already know this is gonna be crazy with the cheese and all that sauce and onion. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. There are like caramelized onions in there. Add a little sweetness. And then that crispy cheese on the outside is a good crunch as well. Let's try it with this, um, there's some like red salsa on the plate right here. Check that out. That looks so good. Mmm. Crazy amount of flavor. It tastes a little sweet, so I think there's like some maybe like fruit blended in there. It smells so good. It's like very potent, and the salsa is not spicy. It's more of a, like a, it gives it more flavor than spice. That's insane. I cannot get enough of this taco. This, this is crazy. That's gonna be a hard one to beat today. All right, we're gonna go to the last dish. Spicy shrimp, Camarón Diablo. I think the right play here, you gotta start off with the tortilla. We're gonna assemble a little taco. Oh, they're fresh corn tortillas, which is always nice. This looks, Oh, still hot, fresh, warm. Well, let's get some onions. Tomato, is that onion or tomato? I don't know. I think that's tomato, that's tomato. Extra sauce. And then we're gonna put like a couple of fresh onions in there. Give it some crunch. Yeah, this is gonna be a good bite right here. All right, cheers. Mmm, the sauce has a good kick to it. Onions are cooked down perfectly, very soft. And then the creaminess and freshness of the avocado, it just like complements Brisco so well. It gives it extra creamy texture and it's cold, so it like offsets the temperature in your mouth, which is always complex and nice, but I love this sauce. Mmm, the spice is definitely catching up to me now. It's so good though. This is an insane start to our Marisco's tour here in LA. Hearty breakfast, this is insane. I didn't think I was gonna eat this much seafood and cheese and rice for breakfast, but I'm down, it was hitting right now. I'm gonna finish up the rest of the food and I'll catch you guys in the next spot. All right, we just got to the next spot. Literally half mile away, could've walked. We're at Marisco's Jalisco. This spot is super known 
for their fried shrimp tacos. And this is the dish they're known for. I cannot wait to try this. The, the crispy shrimp oozing out as well. It got fried up, topped off with that red salsa. And then this one right here is an OG, just a um, tostada de pescado, which is just a fish tostada with some onions. It looks like some tomato, nice green ripe avocado, and then there's some lime on there as well. Mm. You could tell that fish is so fresh. No fishy taste at all. Very tender. It's nice. It's hot out here in LA right now. Eating this on the side of the street is different. So good. Mmm. Mmm. All right, let's dig in to the tacos now. This is what they're known for here. The fried shrimp tacos. And this plate is heavy. Mmm. That shrimp so soft. It might be like minced up, then stuffed in the taco, but fresh red tomato salsa on the outside. Like when you're starving, this is like a hearty meal you, you would want. It's really crazy how Boyle Heights East LA has this much good food in this small vicinity. Like I said, first spot, half a mile away, you could walk here. Right across the street, Los Chingones, amazing spot. And there are so many I don't know about yet. Like I'm still on the hunt, discovering new spots. But you could literally like eat here for days and not get bored. There's so much good food. You do a whole food tour just in this part of LA. Seen a bunch and I'm, I'm still on the look. So we're gonna keep um, going and find a couple new spots. Spicy so oh, like, this one? If you don't like spicy, don't, you know. Oh, don't no, worry. I love spicy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right, yeah. thank you. Like Cheer. I said, if you need anything else, anything, let me know whether. Thanks, bro. About to get down. Nah, it's good. It's right there, those two. I appreciate you. You're welcome. We're out here in East LA, Mariscos El Hato Jr. They got a brick and mortar location in Boyle Heights, but decided to come to the truck. We ordered a mixed tostada with octopus, shrimp, fish ceviche, and look at this cocktail. That looks so good. Mixed cocktail as well. This one actually has same thing, octopus, shrimp, I believe some fish, and I think there's some oysters in here. Whole plate of tostadas, crackers, hot sauce, lime. Before we take a bite, you know, you gotta squeeze all that lime all over. There's no such thing as too much lime, especially with mariscos, you could always add extra, extra lime. Look at all that juiciness. And this hot sauce, looks amazing look at the color that red looks so vibrant the homie over there said that it's super spicy so you know it's gonna be good oh that looks fire look at that that red contrast against that green avocado i don't even know how i'm gonna eat this this thing is like the size of the plate which is crazy bruh check that out look how big that is like this is heavy this is like three pounds has to be this tostada is so tough carrying all that seafood I'm surprised it hasn't broken. Mmm. You could taste the freshness of the seafood. And that salsa is amazing. It's so spicy. It's probably the spiciest thing I've had today. Burning my lips. But adds so much flavor. It's like smoky a little bit and a little sour. And it's just so potent. It's, it's intense, but it's so good. Mmm. Just being outside and experiencing this on the street. Hot day, cold, bariscos, amazing. I kind of want to scoop it like a chip, like some nachos or something. Mmm. The textures are giving me like crazy experience. This whole plate mixture, so complex with the flavors, textures. This is smacking, bro. Nice. Thank you, bro, appreciate you. <laughs> He knows what's up though, it's like super fire, so I had to get it. And it didn't miss, this is insane. All right, gotta reach for the cocktail now. I'm gonna mix up all that ketchup, tomato sauce with this broth. That octopus tentacle, all that avocado. Oh man, there's some shrimp at the bottom, I need to get there. Mmm, mmm. Super refreshing, crunchy onions. Same, same octopus in there, it's like, Almost this, but just in a cocktail form with that sauce. Ketchup makes it a little sweet. Mmm. That's good. Let's get in with the tostada. Let's get a little scoop. Mmm. And then when mm. I added that hot sauce, it gave it so much kick, which is 
always nice. Spicy seafood, like I said, smacking. Some of the best mariscos I've had here in LA for sure. So glad I came to the truck location. They're all super friendly. They're hooking it up, chopping it up a little, and they're super cool people. Mm. You guys have like hot sauce or salsas? Hot sauce? Yes. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Welcome, you. Man. Thank you, you too. We wouldn't be a Mariscos food tour without the Ensenada Baja style fish taco. Word around town, this is the spot. We're, we're at Tacos Baja here on Whittier Boulevard in East LA. Apparently, one of the best fish tacos here, Ensenada style. And I ordered a plate with some rice and beans, salsa and then the two pescado tacos. Simple mixture, but this is like the OG way, how they do it in Baja, and I love Baja style food. All right, let's get this first bite. Let's try it with the salsa they gave us. The batter is, it's deep fried, mm. but still light. Fish is flaky. Mm. It's so soft and creamy, especially with the crema. And you get all the drippings, all those cabbage pieces, Pico de gallo, crema, on the rice. I like everything spicy. Mmm. Like every refried bean. Creamy. There's a lot of flavor in there. Just from all that probably like fat and oil. Oh. But now nah, you come here for the tacos. That's what you come here for. Mmm. We had to end the tour here on Whittier Boulevard. One of the most famous streets out here on the east part of Los Angeles. Super fire mariscos. You guys definitely need to come to these spots, check them out. But thank you guys for watching In The Cut. We out.